DSE speaking, group interaction, reading more, short stories from vending machines. The first student says, hi everyone, today we're talking about reading literature. I truly believe less people are reading than before. Reading more is crucial. Read more, learn more, right? Let me give you an example. Reading the newspaper instead of playing Candy Crush, I know more about the outside world. Consequently, I have interesting discussions with my friends. Agreed? Next student. I absolutely agree with your idea that reading is crucial. Let me tell you why. If we don't read, how can we talk up with friends about how to write better English? Why do we want to write better English? We all want great results, right? Let me give you an example. My cousin never reads. As a result, his vocabulary is weak and his English skills are terrible. He wants to be a doctor, but how can you study medicine if your English is poor? What's your point of view? Next student. That's an interesting idea. Okay, body language. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, why are less people reading than before? I firmly believe without a doubt. Okay, that's very important. I firmly believe without a doubt the internet is the problem. Let me tell you why. Addiction to smartphones and social media. How do students relax after school? Do we read books? Of course not. We check Instagram and we upload photos of people with rabid ears and dog noses. Teenagers' social skills are badly affected. So vending machines printing stories must be a positive step in the right direction. Hmm. Some fantastic ideas from everyone. Moving on, do we think these vending machines will encourage people to read more? If you ask me, I don't think so. Let me tell you why. They're a good idea. However, society is more green and environmentally friendly. And as a result, we use less paper. Additionally, people prefer to get information online and consequently, society is getting addicted to e-newspapers, audiobooks, and YouTube. I have a friend who constantly reads on her phone. She carries two portable phone chargers. Next student. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, I think the environment issue can be solved if we recycle the paper after reading, right? I truly believe, I truly believe, Short story vending machines will help, as not everyone is constantly on their phones or iPads. If we have easy access to good stories, it can motivate our imagination and improve our vocabulary, right? Something is better than nothing, right? Next student. Hmm, that's a really good point. Something is better than nothing. Additionally, it's free and it can encourage people to write more. Can you imagine your own work printed and shared with hundreds of people? Wouldn't that be great? Let me give you an example. Harry Potter author JK Rowling was unknown before her first book and now she has more money than the Queen. How amazing is that? Hmm, you're absolutely right. That would be amazing. What other ways can we promote reading? Let me give an example. At school, we motivate students to read more with incentives such as snacks, pens, McDonald's coupons. Do you think that's a good idea? Next student. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, McDonald's coupons may lead to addiction to junk food, right? Let me tell you why. My cousin was given McDonald's coupons from school and now he has an obesity problem. When I was at primary school, older students would read to younger students like a big brother, big sister program. I thought that was a really great way to promote reading. What are your thoughts? So I'm going to explain more in the next video, but stay healthy, stay happy, stay at home. And uh, I'll go into more detail because that was just the read through. I want to explain in the next video about why we do or why we say the things we say. Okay, peace out.